welcome to today's video. I'm gonna do a review on the new app that got dropped today by Filmic Pro called Double Take. Now I'm gonna show you guys some video examples. I'm gonna do an up close um, app review. I'm gonna post my phone here on the gimbal and I'm gonna show you what this app is capable of. Now this is definitely a game changer. If you remember back when the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 was first announced, uh, Filmic Pro, they actually announced this app called Double Take, and basically it allows you to film yourself and something that's in front of you. And the idea is to utilize two of the four cameras at the same time, and it has a bunch of different features that I'm gonna show you right now. So super excited. I figured I wanna show you kind of what's happening here, and when you see the next scene, you kind of get an idea of how I had this entire um, video set up. So once I prop this on here, I'm filming on a 16 to 35. I'm gonna swap that lens to the 70 to 200. Uh, that way you guys get a very clear view of the application. Um, so let's get into it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We've been posting a lot of videos on this channel showing you guys how to learn more about photos, videos, audio. I got a ton of videos, go just check them out, like them all, subscribe, and let's get into it right now. Now, once you guys open up the Double Take app by Filmic, um, you get to notice the four cameras on your iPhone 11 Pro, that's what I'm currently using right now. Um, you'll see here the ultra wide, wide, the tele, and the selfie. Now you could select two cameras, so for this example, I'm gonna select camera A as my primary and B as my selfie. It'll ask you to confirm. And it'll bring you right into the recording mode. Now you got three different modes that you record from. On the top right hand corner, if you flip through them, you have the split screen, which I am very excited about because I could do reviews on tech products and I could be on the other side of the screen now, when I hit the record button, it'll actually record both screens as you see it right now. If we go to the next one, this is discrete mode. Now, what discrete mode does, it's actually filming camera A and B into two separate files. So when I play this back, you will not see this file here, but it will record them separately. And then when you're editing in Final Cut Pro or Premiere, you could put one file on top of the other and cut between cameras A and camera B. And for the last one, this is the pip mode. Now, aesthetics looks the same as a discrete. The only difference is in pip mode, you will see the camera B the entire time. So let's give you guys an example. If I'm recording right now, utilizing the pip mode, and if you noticed, I have this mounted on the Ronin S. I'm going to stop recording. Top left hand corner, I will go to my save files. And when I open up the file, So you guys get the point. And that's pretty much it. That is what this application could do. Um, I think it's definitely a game changer for the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. And of course, if I flip this vertically, the split view will then show up in vertical mode. And again, if I hit the record button, so let's go back here to our different options. And if I click on the telemode and let's say the we'll do this as camera A we'll do the wide mode as camera A and then the telemode is camera B right so let's go and hit confirm and now you'll notice that the plant in the background is on the telemode and then so this is camera A and that's camera B and once you hit record you know you can go ahead and be let's say explaining a specific product or you could be filming something depending on what your subject is and you'll get both camera angles now if you wanted to 
let's say, keep it as camera A and camera B, nice and up close, we could switch to, we could switch to discrete mode. Now, if you want, you can just open up camera B. You could focus it on your subject, close it back down, camera A, refocus on your subject. Now, as I'm recording, so let's hit record. If I'm describing a product or if I'm filming something, in my case, doing my tech reviews, once I'm done, I'll click stop. Top left hand corner, I will open up my files. You'll notice camera A, camera B. If I'm describing a product or if I'm filming something, in my case, doing my tech reviews. That's the Tele and camera A. That's my if wide. I'm So Filmic Pro has been out for quite some time. They actually have another application that I won't get into too much right now, but this is, this is the Filmic Pro app where you can go ahead and utilize the iPhone's camera, but it almost takes the iPhone's native camera and just takes it to the next level. And what I'm saying here is you could fix your stabilization you could turn that on so the camera is stable, even though I'm using a gimbal at the moment. You could pick different resolutions from 1080 to 2K, 3K, all the way up to 4K. You could change your perspectives on what your camera is showing you. And you could even select anywhere between 24 frames to 25, 30, and up to 240. Uh, between the 120 and 240, you can only film that on a 1080p or else it will not give you the option to select it. And of course, you have a ton of other options where you could play around with the temperatures, you can leave it on auto, um, or you could adjust it yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and link the Double Take app down below. Take it straight to the App Store, Download it. If you guys are using uh, applications like Instagram and TikTok, you can become very, very creative on what you could do with this app. I am super excited to be able to use it for my tech review videos. Uh, that way I could just go ahead and review a product and whether I wanna show myself or show a wider angle and a close up angle of the product that I'm reviewing, I think it'll be pretty cool. You could use this thing in a lot of creative ways. But um, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video and if you like to see more of the behind the scenes of things like this like I showed you guys in the beginning I will do as a matter of fact maybe I'll do an entire tutorial of how I am shooting my videos in 2020 um, see you guys in the next video Thanks for watching.